My name is Sean Sheridan. I'm a dry stock farmer here at Minality, Kells County Meads, and we're here with Chuckus today to talk about water quality. Hi, my name is Maeve O'Hagan and I'm an ASP advisor for Chagask. So basically I'm here today to talk to you about some of the measures you can take on your farm to help protect water quality. So as we know, agriculture is one of the main pressures facing water quality in Ireland. In particular, we're talking about high levels of nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus and also sediment that comes from agricultural sources. So the main issues that this can pose is high nutrients can cause algal blooms and it can also cause damage to aquatic life and also habitats. Routine farming activities such as slurry application and fertiliser application can cause a loss of nutrients to our waterways if they're not applied according to best practice. There are a number of measures that you can take on your farm to reduce the amount of nutrients and sediment that enter the waterways in order to protect water quality. So one measure you can take is to ensure that manure, slurry and fertiliser are applied at the right rate, in the right place, at the right time. On average, only 25% of nitrogen spread is utilised by grass, with the remainder being lost either to the atmosphere or to water. So by ensuring correct application, we can also save money on our fertiliser costs. Another measure you can take is to introduce a fenced buffer zone or a margin of vegetation to break the pathway of nutrients from the field to the water. This reduces nutrients, especially phosphorus, from running off into our waterways and it can also have co-benefits for biodiversity. Another measure that you can take is to fence off animal access points and to locate drinking trucks away from any rivers, streams or drains in a dry area. Using water trucks can improve production and animal performance by ensuring adequate water is available at all times. Another thing that you can do to help improve water quality is to implement a nutrient management plan in order to improve your soil fertility and your pH levels. Knowing your soils and what nutrients they require can help reduce the amount of excess nitrogen and phosphorus that are applied to your soils, therefore reducing the amount of these nutrients that get into our waterways and help to save money. You can also reduce your nitrogen requirements by incorporating clover or mixed species into your swords. To learn more about how to improve water quality in your area, visit catchments.ie, smartfarming.ie, chagas.ie or speak to your local advisor.